despite his great achievements, Dr. Borlaug was a man of great humility and grace. As many of you know, he continued late in his life to teach classes and mentor students. God, hear the prayers of hungry and poor people throughout the world. Give them bountiful crops and hope for the future. And use us for your purposes in the world. Dr. Borlaug started his research career in agriculture in Mexico at a time when the world was passing through a serious food crisis. During 1942-43, nearly 2 million people died of hunger during the Great Bengal Famine. We were raised at a time when one out of every 10 children died before they reached the age of one. He understood mortality and the urgency of providing help those who were sick and needy, and a delay in providing that help can often cost lives. Our quotas seem to be hard just Dr. Boro, since you became involved in Africa's agricultural development, my brother and I approached you when you were already 70. We wanted to do something to help alleviate the hunger of starving applicants. And we sought your help. We knew it was a lot to ask. But you willingly agreed. Since then, no matter how busy you were, you made African farmers and their children you have high quality. Jenny, Bill, and other members of the family, your father loved all of you dearly, and he cared deeply for African farmers, even when he was on the brink of pneumonia in Malawi, even when he was stricken by cancer. He was always more concerned for the well-being of African farmers than he was for himself. Remarkably, he never complained, however tough the predicament. He was a kind of person who was motivated by meeting difficult challenges head on. He spent as much time as possible in the field, kindly and painstakingly passing on his knowledge to African farmers. At the same time, he took a strict approach to training country directors. Something I shall never forget is a look of pure happiness on his face as he watched the farmers dance or joy at an annual harvest festival. Dr. Borg often said, Africa's children mustn't go to sleep hungry. He kept that thought in mind and what he achieved went beyond satisfying their hunger. Norman, you cultivate a dream that would empower the farmers. You planted the seeds of hope. You watered them with enthusiasm. You gave them sunshine. You inspire with your passion. You harvested confidence in the hearts of African farmers. You never gave up. I am now 70 years old, about the age you are when you began working with Africa. I pray to you, I pray to you this, to 
to spend the rest of my days pursuing your dream of a green revolution for Africa. I will work together with the leaders, students, researchers, and farmers who embody the Bolo spirit. I will never give up. Dr. Moro, Norman, may you rest in eternal peace. Talent be sought in unexpected places, that bookkeepers, technicians, farmers, and the like should become researchers. He would say that new ideas are needed. People from different backgrounds would bring new perspectives. The entire Morlock family, we thank you for being here to show your love of him and your support for his work. As his family, we've always been so proud of his passion, his spirit, and his endurance in pursuing such a focused 